Hey CrossFit Division, Coach Will here, breaking down your workout for Saturday, May 11th. So today, your workout consists of three sets. In each set, you're going to perform an, a four-minute AMRAP. And the movements in those AMRAP are 40 double unders and or 30 plate hops, 30 jumping air squats with a minute rest between sets. Okay, Strive and aim to have unbroken double unders. If you don't have unbroken double unders, do 60 single unders, okay? And then try to perform the jumping air squats unbroken as well. For the advanced version, we're gonna replace the jump squats with a single arm thruster. You're gonna do 10 on the right, 10 on the left. Just like the jumping air squats, try to perform the single arm thrusters unbroken. If you're planning to work on your double unders today, what I want you to think about is jumping and landing on the balls of your feet, jumping up and down in the same spot, relaxing your shoulders, and flicking through the wrists. Now it bottles down to having timing between the jump and the flick. Use that time today to practice that. Now if you're choosing not to work on your double unders, we can substitute that for 60 single unders or 30 plate hops. For your plate hops, I want you to execute them as if you were doing a double under, meaning when you're jumping and landing off the plate, stay on the balls of your feet. So if you're choosing to do the jump squat today, first I want your feet to be set up shoulder width apart, toes slightly angled out, whatever they're comfortable. From there, you can initiate the squat by pushing your butt back and then down, driving your knees away from each other, making sure your hip crease sits below the tip of the knee. From there, you're going to stand out of the squat and give me a jump at the top. Now, if you're choosing to do a dumbbell thruster, everything from the jump squat still applies. However, instead, at the top of your squat, you're going to use your legs to assist and pressing the dumbbell up and overhead. At the top of the movement, that dumbbell is going to be in line with all of your joints from head to toe. From there, you're going to slowly and carefully lower the dumbbell back down the shoulders and then go back into your squat. For your warm-up today, we have three rounds starting with 50 single unders and or 30 jumping jacks, 10 dynamic squat stretch, and a 30-second active squat hold. Now, for your single unders, think about staying light on the balls of your feet, keeping your shoulder relaxed, flicking the rope through your wrists. If you choose to do jumping jacks, just think about jumping, splitting your feet out wide, and bringing your arms up overhead, warming your legs and shoulders up. For your dynamic squat stretch, you're going to hinge forward, bend over, grab your tippy toes, pull yourself down into a squat, keeping your chest up nice and tall, okay? Keeping the elbows on the inside of the knee, driving your knees out, okay? Hang on to your tippy toes, shoot your hips up, and then stand tall. And then lastly, for your active squat hold, you're going to hold the bottom of a squat position for 30 seconds. And what I want you to think about when you're doing this is imagine if you had a heavy load on your back, okay, and you're resisting that load trying to crush you 